Okay. So we want to talk about the vertex form for parabolas and using the focus and directrix to write the equation or going the other way from the equation identifying the focal point and the directrix of it. So we're pretty familiar with the vertex form. Y equals A parentheses X minus H squared plus K. What we use to do transformations on parabolas. So luckily, when we get to conic sections, the vertex form actually works. We have the H and the K that we're familiar with, uh, with the other conic sections, and the radius to the focal point is actually in here as well. So all of the, the concepts that we saw with the other conic sections. Not quite the same format. So we see it's not really a circle being deformed like we did see with ellipses and hyperbolas. But we have the H and the K for the center. We've got the orientation that we saw with hyperbola, either opening up or down for negative or to the right or left for horizontal. And then the focal point and the directrix we can see are really just the endpoints of an axis whose radius is P. So we have these two forms. If the vertex opens up, then this coefficient will represent 1 over 4 times the radius to the focal point or the directrix, and then x minus h squared plus k. If the parabola opens side to side, or right or left, we have x equals 1 over 4p, y minus k squared plus h. Be careful for that switching of the order there. But otherwise, very simple. So there's two types of problems that I want you to be able to do with these. I want you to be able to tell me the center, the focus, the directrix, and which way it opens. And if I give you the focus directrix or the center, you can write the equation. So let's look at those two types of problems now. In this case, we have a vertex at negative 6, 1, and a focal point at negative 6 and 41 over 40. So we want to get the equation of the parabola. Well, First thing I have to figure out, like I did with the hyperbolas, is the orientation. Which direction does this particular parabola go? Should my equation start with y, because it's a vertical parabola, or should it start with x? And to do that, I'm just going to sketch out the points. Now, I can also tell, because the only point that is changing is the y coordinate. So the vertex is my center, but we have a vertex at negative 6, 1. So let's say that's that point, negative 6, 1. There's our vertex. And then the focal point, the focus, is at negative 6 and 41 over 40, which is up here. Which means this particular parabola opens up. You kind of see that there. Yeah, not my best parabola, but that's okay. Which means the equation is going to be y is equal to 1 over 4p x minus h squared plus k. So I know that model. Now I just have to fill in that information. H and k are the horizontal and vertical components of the vertex. So that I can do. That I can fill in. This would be x minus negative 6. So I know that's going to be a plus 6. And then plus k plus 1. P is the radius from the vertex, or the center of our parabola, to a focal point or to the directrix, which we would find back here. 
behind or below the vertex, in this case below. But if P is that radius, then all I have to do is find the distance between that focal point that they gave me and the vertex that they gave me. And it's a vertical distance. It's a vertical oriented parabola. So all I really need to do is find 41 over 40 minus 1, which is 40 over 40. So in that case, I get P is equal to 1 40th. Parabolas tend to have focal points that are very, very close to their vertex. You have to have that parabola open really wide to move the focal point away from the vertex. But P is 1 over 40, which means this would be 1 over 4 times 1 over 40. Now, that's ugly. We're not going to leave it like that. We're going to simplify and reduce by doing this multiplication. And if I still have a fraction in the denominator, I'm going to divide, so keep, change, flip to get rid of that. So we'll do that over here. 4 times 1 over 40 over 1. It's going to be 1 over 1 tenth. which keep change flip. So I would take the reciprocal of this, I would flip it and multiply it to the top, that would just be 10. So my final equation here is going to be y equals 10 x plus 6 squared plus 1. Notice, we just use the properties that we are aware of, the features, the vertex being the center, the focal point, and that radius to fill in the parts of the model that we were looking for. So it is just taking what you know, plugging into the model, and getting that equation. Now, let's look at another problem. So here, we're going to go the opposite direction. We have the equation, we want to identify the vertex, focus, and directrix of this equation. So I'm going to start by kind of looking at the equation. I'm going to get the orientation, and I can get the vertex from this in vertex form as well. This particular parabola, though, opens to the left. I know that because it starts with x, which means it is horizontal in orientation, and my coefficient here is negative. So just like with parabolas, it opens up if a is positive, down if a is negative. x values are positive to the right, negative to the left. So we have that. Now we have this. I know my focal point will be in here. My vertex is there and the directrix will be right there. That's the alignment of these features. Focal point inside the parabola's curve, directrix outside the parabola's curve. Vertex, we are familiar with, right on the apex of that curve. Okay. And we have the vertex. We know that the vertex has a y-coordinate of 5 and an x-coordinate of negative 6. So negative 6, 5. Because we have y minus k squared plus h. So my vertex is at negative 6, 5. That leaves me to find the focal point and the directrix, which I know are p units away from that vertex. So all I have to do is find the value of p and then add and subtract it to the appropriate coordinate on the vertex, in this case, the horizontal coordinate. And that comes from here. I know that negative 1 half is equal to 1 over 4 
P. So that's just an equation. I can solve that for P. In fact, I know that 4P is equal to negative 2 by cross multiplication, and P then would be equal to negative 1 half dividing by 4 and simplifying. So breaking this down, we already identified the vertex is at negative 6, 5. And because the parabola is oriented horizontally, I know I need to add P to the horizontal coordinate of the vertex. So my focus will be at negative 6 plus P, so plus negative 1 half, and then the 5. And then I just do that. So negative 6, I know it's going to be negative 12 halves plus negative 1 half, that's negative 13 halves. And 5. And then for the directrix, same idea, just with subtraction. So the directrix will be at x equals negative 6 minus p, in this case negative 1 half. Okay. So negative 12 halves minus the negative, that's going to be at negative 11 halves. And that's it. Really, parabolas are relatively simple. They have a vertex, which is like the center of the circles, ellipses, and hyperbolas. They have a radius, like the circle that takes us to the other parts of the function, and then a focal point inside and a directrix outside, and it will work just like that each time.